Good evening, everyone. After a long time, I'm back. And it's nice to be back. It's really a warm feeling to be back. What happened that one of our dedicated and devoted students of GF family sent me the request today that why don't I <coughs> upload videos? And I thought, why not? Because everyone likes appreciation. Appreciation is always appreciated by everyone. It actually triggers some motivation. So I realized that I'm appreciated. I'm appreciated by my students, so I cannot say no to do the video. And here I am, after a long period of time, we are again going to be rolling in videos. Guys and girls, I would like to tell you that uh, Again, motivation comes from the appreciation. So, motivation everybody needs, grandpa to grandson, everybody needs appreciation. So, watch my video, listen to my video, read the article on Facebook, Quora, send me the comment, send me whatever the comments you have sent me. If you have any kind of criticism, send me. If you have any kind of correction to be made, you send me. Send the likes and, of course, subscribe. So this is our GA family is going to be renowned all over the world. All over the world, more the subscribers, more the respond, more the respond will be generated. If there will be two or three guys who are going to send me like and there will be two or three viewers, then people are not going to be attracted to read that article which has no readers. But when they see that 50, 60, 70 readers, viewers, subscribers are there, more will be allured and the more will be included in it. So remember, motivate. Motivate the GA family. Every single member of the, of the GA family must be motivated by other one. Each should be motivated by everyone. So subject for today is four objectives targeted by Putin in Ukraine. Why Putin is there in Ukraine? Why Russia has invaded Ukraine and devastated to the core? There were no war in the past. There was no any kind of hostility, animosity. There was no any kind of insult exchange between Putin and, uh, and Zelensky. There was no reason. There was no debt. There was no money. There was no territory taken away from Russia or Ukraine, then why? Everybody in the world, if you read, you're going to find out that lots of people are asking this question, why? Why? Why the war? What is the reason behind that? So my parlance, my prism, I have actually detected four tacit targets, tacit the objectives of Russian head ancho, Putin. Why he has actually invaded it? There are four objectives I actually chosen and I have actually believe that these are the veritable genuine objectives. Object number one is absolutely positively no to NATO in Russian back, war, back, back, backyard in Ukraine. Ukraine is in the backyard of Russia, meaning contiguous, both are connected with the land. Now, Zelensky was tilting towards America too much during the uh, uh, time of Trump and before that and after that and all that. Genuflecting America, requesting America and begging America to include Rush, include Ukraine in NATO. Now, NATO would have loved to be in Ukraine because this is a way NATO can actually monitor every military and political activity of Russia. But Russian Putin is also smart. Russian Putin would not actually allow Russia to succumb to NATO. So initially Putin actually Cox and Kajol persuaded and dissuaded to Zelensky that that is not a good idea, that our enemy, our enemy, Russian enemy, NATO, 
should be right on our border. They can monitor every single thing. They will create problem. Our autonomy, a kind of mobility, every single thing would be jeopardized if the NATO would be there, but Zelensky did not listen. Finally, this was a decision of Putin to just to use the force and uh, try to keep NATO away from Ukraine and the NATO, I mean, uh, Putin did it. Today, NATO is nowhere closer to Ukraine, and Ukraine will never, ever invite to NATO for the next century. So you, that Putin got rid of problems caused by the NATO in future. But objective number two is installation of pro-Russian puppet government in Ukraine. This is politics and this has been very much understood politics that if your neighbor, your neighbor is very hostile to you, your neighbor is frenemy to you, enemy to you, foe to you, not friend to you, that this is your enemy sitting very close to your nation and is going to cause lots of problems for you in the short term, in the long term. Every nation would remove if there is an enemy sitting next door. Now, Putin has been watching every single move of Zelensky, that Zelensky has been very much puppet to America, and if Putin would not have done something to, to change the scenario, then America, NATO, America and other 29 nations would have been in Ukraine and monitoring every activity and Russia would have been, we guess, a second fiddle to NATO. NATO could have done anything, NATO, please. So, now Putin wants Zelensky to go and try to install puppet government, pro-Russian government that the government would be pro-Russian and uh, this government would be anti-NATO and this way NATO will never ever even dream or dare to step in their presence in Ukraine for the next 100 years. Point number three is reunification of Ukraine with Russia by hook or by crook. Ukraine, as you may recall, is a the breakaway stage. It was a part of Russia, but during the Gorbachev time, all these uh, republics were uh, were kind of liberated, and uh, Ukraine was one of them. But Russia, Putin himself, since 1900, uh, sorry, 20, 2014, has been saying that I'm going to try to reunify USSR. All the breakaway republic would be invited will be lured, would be cox, cajole, and the course to be the part of Russia. And again, we are going to have the greater Russia as it was known as USSR. But in 2014, Russia actually annexed Crimea. At that time, Russia declared to the world very, very overtly, not covertly, so this is another reason, this is the third objective of Putin, to reunify Ukraine by hook or by crook, by cox and cajoling, or if that doesn't work, then coercing. Objective number four is controlling rich resources of Ukraine by Russia. Ukraine is a very rich nation resources-wise. It is the biggest exporter of wheat, biggest exporter of other grains. It has lots of fuel and fossil fuel. So many natural resources are available in Ukraine. And that is why NATO always wanted Ukraine to be the part of the, or the member or the partner of the NATO. There was no any kind of sympathy for the Ukrainian people. There was no any kind of love affair between Americans and the Ukrainians. But only the thing was the greed, avarice of America. Now Putin recognized it. Putin decided that before America is going to grab every single thing from Ukraine, 
I am going to do something and uh, this way I'm going to control each and every iota of resources in Ukraine and he did it. He did it by force, but before the force was used, Putin was actually dissuading and persuading Zelensky and before Zelensky, the, the, there was another prime minister and the president and nothing happened. Then Putin decided that now clinical approach is not working, so we should go for the surgical approach. And this is the surgical approach that Putin has actually undertaken for these four objectives. Thank you very much for listening. Good night now. See you again next time. God bless you all. Bye.